welcome back to Banish the Mountain Men Challenge. Radio with you here, and I am just getting started to go down here, and we're going to use our camera locations because it's actually a very handy tool. If you haven't used this, you go under the tools icon, click this camera, and you are allowed to have five presets, and they tell you the Z key, X, C, V, and so on. Uh, what I want to do for a couple of reasons is we may be zipping around the map. It's not a huge map, but it just kind of helps. So this is this is the the angle we want, I guess. I'm, I'm directly uh, vertical, or north and south are, are absolute, and I'm zoomed into a place that I think will be good, because eventually I may even put in a trading dock, I don't know, or a trading post. But so if I click this, hit one, it is captured. So now when I go over here, and I hit the Z key, boom, I'm right back to where I, were, where I was. The other reason this can be helpful is sometimes I like to zoom in the camera, or, you know, rotate the camera to see different angles, and I always like to face north-south because I'm an OCD freak. If I hit that Z key, it takes me right back to pure north-south. So let's get the game going. Just something I was working on. I'm going to come over here and I'm actually going to do the same thing. Just because. And this will be the X key. So now Z will take me here. X will take me here. Uh, like I said, they're obviously not far apart. And zipping back and forth isn't a big deal. But hey, it's just something we can work on. So let's check our log production. Yeah, we only pulled out 44 logs last year. That's not a ton. It will be more now that these resources are being taken out, and we have the, the lumberer or the forester will have more room to plant trees. But clicking this, I still have a little bit of leeway here and here, and a decent amount here. Matter of fact, I mean, I could clear this whole area if I really needed to. We'll see. But uh, I think what I said last time, the next thing we're going to get on right now, we're going to go ahead and build that hunting cabin. And... We've got our house, and we've got a couple of people in it. I think we may have people ready or soon be ready. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and build this last house as well. Get that taken care of. And I'm going to put in, just because, I don't know, I like... I play these games mainly for aesthetic reasons. I mean, the, the challenge is fun, but we've got room here for a little road. I'm going to put it in, just because, why the hell not? <laughs> I just like the way it looks. When you zoom way in, we're going to have a little L shape and, you know... I don't know, I just think it looks neat. It's the little little uh, touches that make this game so much fun for me. We can actually do the same thing here if I wanted to, and I think that I will, just because why not? We're going to go right here and just put in a little section because, I don't know, I think it'll look neat. And these guys are producing. How are we doing here? That's getting pretty full. We're probably going to have to put in another one. I usually put them behind the blacksmith as well, so let's go ahead and grab a stockpile. And I'm going to rotate this way because I like to line them up right directly behind the buildings. And we can get... What can we get? We can get a 5x7. You know what? That's going to be plenty. And it's right next to some houses. We really can't do a whole... I mean, we could put more houses back here, but why bother? I think I'm going to go ahead and also place my tailor. I think my tailor's going to go this way. We're going to put him kind of at an intersection. Um... Yeah, I probably will do that. I don't know. Let's see. We, oh, we've got our hunters. We've got six people, so let's do at least two hunters to get going right now. We're doing pretty well on food, so I'm not as panicked about food. Although, I do want to up this to three foresters. I want to get some foresters. And what do we have for gatherers? Again, we're doing okay for food. Our health isn't too bad. Uh, as you can see, we've got, yeah, we've got a decent amount of, of food and stuff in there. Lots of fish here, because that's just coming from the docks. Yeah, they're producing like mad over here. This little peninsula is really... Where else could I put it? Let's take a quick look. Mm, not a lot of other great places. Maybe right here if I really needed to. I could put one. There's a nice little bend there that kind of comes behind. I could probably go... Yeah, you see, right here wouldn't be a great idea because then it would encroach on this dock. So maybe here. Let's just take a look for the hell of it. And let's see. Yeah, this would be... Actually, that'd be a pretty good location right there. Yeah, we'll have to look into that. I'll have to remember that. And that would be about it. I don't want to get too far away from, I guess, our center of town, so to speak. And at some point, we may have to put in a quarry. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll take it as it comes and see. So, yeah, they're already getting... Look at that. They're already producing venison and leather. And that makes me happy. So this little camp is now 100% up and running. Things are going well. We've got children being born and grown and all that kind of stuff. We could actually probably add another house here if I wanted to. Do I want to? I might just do that, because what do we have? We have... Right now we have two, five, seven, two, four, six, eight. So yeah, we're okay with adults, but... 
I guess perhaps we could build, because I, I want to expand. I want to, we, obviously the goal is to get, we need to get 50 people. We need to get up to 50 citizens and maintain them for 20 years. So we might as well get cracking a little bit because we're pretty comfortable with food. I don't want to build too quick because, you know, lest we die of starvation, which has happened to me before. And God, that really stinks. And then I'm thinking about year five, we're going to go ahead and plop that school. Get that, get that built and going. Let's see how we do. Who's moving in? Right now, it's just one person. Hopefully, we're going to have a male to move in so they can make some kids. Do we have any males ready to go? Cohen's going to be ready here soon. What about over here? Yeah, it looks like that's it. So, it'll be a couple of years. So, we don't need to worry about building this. So, we can kind of start planning some other things, like perhaps our other camp. And I was saying north, because that would just give us a nice sideways, sideways T-junction. So, let's look at... Forster's Lodge, and that's not bad. I mean, because this is, like I said, this would have been a, an ideal spot, clearly. But it's so far from where we started, it we could have run into issues. And I don't mind losing a little bit of trees here and there, because we're not trying to build Mecca. We're just trying to get 50 people to survive for 20 years. So let's pause the game. Let's drop that right there. And I think what we're going to do this time is we're going to do... Uh, an herbalist, because that's going to help people with their health. So if we did an herbalist right there, let's pause these so I can see them. It kind of helps me identify the buildings. And then I could do another hunter, which isn't a bad idea, because surplus leather, always a good idea. Because I don't know if we're, again, I don't know if we're going to do any trading. And if we don't do any trading, I don't have a way to get cattle. Now, the only downside is, he's, is you can see his area of hunting very limited. The majority of that is on the rocks. I might have to move him down. Let's see. I could put him off to the side like this. don't generally like to do that, but it might be the best idea to get him more hunting grounds. Let's try this. Let's get him right there is good. And then our road will go straight down and then just over a little bit, and he'll be able to hunt. And then, let's see, we've got my... Where's my Forester's Lodge? Let's pin this. Move that out of the way, if I can grab it. There we go. And then if I run a road straight down, and we're going to do that too, because I'm thorough. We could put another barn, because believe it or not, we're probably going to need it, because these things fill up so fast. Oh, and look at that. We can get it in right along the road and then we could put in some houses which you know what we're here we might as well do it right so let's do a house and a house and can I get behind there oh that's a drag but I can hear oh that's a shame that would have been so much fun so right about well, let's just build right across the street from here and that gives me three houses how does that work with this I can get a house right next to it wow I may end up doing that yet so let's go ahead and let's pause these things. And now we've got our second camp pretty much ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and remove this road because I don't want them building it. Or do I? Because are they doing anything important right now? They're really not, are they? You know what? Screw it. Let them build the road. We'll get the road taken care of now. And let's go ahead and just create this T-junction. I mean, why not? It's not going to hurt anything to have them do that. And I'll just run this. Uh, I'll leave this. I'll leave this because I'm going to probably put that tailor right in there. But how are we doing? Oh, we need people. We need babies. Still waiting. Still waiting on... Is it Colin? Yeah, it's going to be a couple of years before he gets in there and they hopefully get together and make a family because that's what we need. You know what? I think I'm going to line this up all in one row. Why not? Let's go in here. Remove structure. Let me go ahead and do that. That's really easy to do. Yeah, I'm going to face it this way. This one will go this way. Let's pause again. This one will go this way. And this one will go this way. And now we've got a nice row of five houses. And they're all in a line, which isn't necessary. But, again, I really like aesthetic parts of this game. So let's take this and build houses this way and this way. So there's one space between the barn and the houses, which is I'm totally fine with that. And we could not get one here. Correct? Correct. So... We could always put, like, a well or something in here if we decide to do so. Let's pause these before we accidentally build them. 
So now we just have a nice kind of shape. I really, that's what I enjoy, so <laughs> you build your game your way. I mean, if you like to have stuff in chaotic mode, and sometimes I do that. I don't know, I, I've played this game before. Let's say, like, this would be my starting point, and there's a hole here, 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 and here, and I'll just place the houses where they fit in the forest for no other reason just because I think it looks kind of interesting, and it looks very organic, you know, it looks very natural, like that's where you would build a house in a damn clearing. Speaking of which, you know what, let's take, for temporarily at the very least, let's run this road directly south, because we're going to come up here and clear this all the way um, before we actually start building. So let's just get that whole area. Well, there's a decent amount of stuff here. Let's get all that stone out of there. We'll let them do that. We've got five laborers because right now we have nobody building. And they can run right up the road to grab it and come right down here and drop it in the... In the what the hell is this? A stockpile? That's what it is. So if we do that now before we start building our second camp... It'll just be taken care of, and we can see our little trees and shrubs starting to grow, and in another couple of seasons, this will be 100% ready to go. And we're going in people, too. Our populace is going, and everything's, you know, it's pretty smooth. I don't want to jinx it, but I'm not unhappy with what we're doing. 1,700 fish. Wow, and only three fishermen. This is really a godsend. What is going on over here? Let's take a look. Gatherer's doing really well, too. You know what? I want to up that. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's up that by one more. So now we've got three gatherers, three fishermen. Only two hunters yet, but we'll get more. Because um, I just, I don't want to have to worry about this number. Starvation is never, ever, ever a good time. Especially in this game. So, and, you know, we may even be able to build a quarry over here. Let's take a look at the size. What does a quarry look like? I know it's big. That's yeah, a pretty, pretty damn big building. We could really get that... If we tuck that right back here-ish. If we needed a quarry, we could get that out of the way. It doesn't interfere with either camp. The only thing I have to think about is where would I put another camp. I'm actually thinking across the way. Forster's Lodge. That's a pretty good chunk of trees. It really is. And we could build a road straight across. We've got a barn here. We'd have another barn here. Some houses. So this might be our, our third and final camp. Uh, and then from there, it's just a matter of packing in houses because we'll be pretty self-sufficient. We could get a mine over here. We could get a quarry over here. And we're not interfering with either of the radius of our of our camps for trees. I think that's going to be our plan, guys. I think that's what we're going to do. Hey, look who finally all grows up. So as soon as they start having kids, as soon as we see, well, we've got a we've got a 15 year old ready to go, but we need a boy to match up, and it's looking like. Portez is going to be our next choice, but I'm not going to build that just yet. Um, did they get this taken care of already? They sure did. Good for them. Let's grab the iron now. Because that's, again, a necessity. We've got a good stockpile of iron. Excellent. And we've got a decent amount of stone, which is really going to help for the city buildings. That's what I call, you know, the, the important things, the uh, town center stuff. I really like those, which we're not going to be putting in a town hall, but I am going to be putting in a school actually next year so let's go ahead and map out where I want to put the school what are we thinking uh, I was saying down here it's generally a good idea if you can to put them equidistant between your residencies uh, sadly it doesn't fit right there because the damn hill I could go here I had that kind of earmarked for my tailor let's pause the game because again if we pause the game we can remove these without having any problems if I put you there and I grab a tailor. Where would a tailor go? I could go one off, or I could go right against the road with it. I could also move that road. Or I could back the tailor up. I could put the tailor here. I'm just looking for, right now, I'm just kind of looking for what looks neat and exciting. I guess tailor's not super exciting in the game. I don't know. I guess I don't know any tailors. I don't know what they do is exciting or not. I don't want to sound insulting. I'm sure it can be. I know... Doing costume design on Hollywood films must be awesome. So, I digress because I'm trying to backpedal. Can you can you hear that? Um, this might work because of, let's say if I put let's see if I put this here, and I ran a road as you can probably hear the train behind me. If I ran a road straight through here, thusly, and then let's take a look at my Forester's Lodge. Is that where I want it to go? It really kind of roughly is. I could do the lodge here. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking this is kind of good, although the only problem now is I don't want the barn there, or I'm sorry, I don't want the, the tailor there because I do want a barn there. So let's remove that structure. 
And let's put in this road for marker so I don't lose my place. That was here, so let's put that there. And let's grab a barn. Put that as close here as I can. Good. And then... That's off, isn't it? It looks off to me. Grab the road, road, road tool, dummy. It is off. Yeah, I put that. I put that off. So let's remove that, and we'll remove the barn, and we will move the barn. Still put it as close to the river as we can. Put it right on the road. That's perfect. And I want to put a couple of houses now. I can probably fit four comfortably here, right? Yeah. So if I did one. To, and I can't get another one in here. Which I don't know if I care about or not yet. Let's put these down and let's take a look. I mean, we're, what we're kind of doing... I don't know, I'm a professional artist. That's what I do. I'm a tattooer. So I'm, I'm kind of sketching right now is actually what I'm doing. To see if this is what I want. These four houses fit great. What we don't have is room for two more. Does that bother me? I don't know yet. Because what I can do, if I want... Move the school over one. Put a small hitch in the road. Let's take a look at that. Why not? What are we looking for? I'm looking for this. Let's remove this. Oh, the only problem is, damn it, this road is pre-existing, so I can't simply delete this like I could these because these aren't built yet. Uh, let's pause this, and actually, let's also remove this road. Here's a good point, because if, if you haven't run into this before, you've probably heard of the Death March, and that is, if I tell them to try to build this road, they will try to find a way to get there. And there is no way to get there, so they will walk until they die. So we'll pause this, remove the road, because we have it lined up right where we need to be. And now I'm just thinking, do I want to put another row of houses here and have that hitch? You know, I think I do. So we're going to do a road removal. And we're going to remove all of this. And we're going to unpause the game. Actually, we're going to pause the game. Oops. Let's pause these first. <laughs> I almost got myself on my pants down. Let's pause all of this. And now we'll have them come through. They'll build this road, and they will they will demolish this road. And that should be okay, right? Yeah, because they're up here collecting resources. Okay, we're good. We're good. I don't want to sound too panicky, but it's just it's tricky, man. It's it's not it's not uh, it's not a simple thing. I'm actually gonna have to remove this too. Here's another thing that you may or may not know, and that is you can't. And I'll show you. You can't build a bridge from here. You need land on which to purchase the, the edges. So once they destroy this, I bet you we can start there and build a bridge right over and we'll be good to go. We're going to find out shortly. And if I'm full of it, you're going to find out quickly. <laughs> and I'm going to look like an idiot. So uh, let's go ahead and quick pause. And houses. Houses. One here. One here. I didn't put it down. There we go. So now we have a nice group of six houses. We can put in our school, right? Yes. Road. Road would go here. And we can hitch it wherever. I could actually have them stop doing that. But we'll see. And then schools. City buildings. Schools. Right here. If I flip that around. The only question is, how do, I, do I want to look at it or do I want to have it facing this way? I've got everything going off these roads, but it's just so damn efficient. Um... We've got a lot of empty space here, so we'll put the school here. And that's pretty that's pretty good between these two areas. And then what we'll probably do is I'll probably have the hitch. Can I cancel? Yeah, I can cancel removal. And let's go one, two, three, four down for a house, right? Actually, it would be five with the road or not. If I cancel that removal, we're going to find out. But I should have probably mapped some of this out before I started just doing it for you guys. Okay, look, there we go, good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the hitch is going to come here because we can have a row of houses. And I might even I may even yet change that again. So oh, wait, pause these. We don't need these. There we go. All right, now, good gravy. That was like a workout, wasn't it? I hope you guys aren't like uh, swearing at your computers because I'm missing something because the chances are I probably am, but I think I'm working it out okay. And then, so the hitch is going to go here, so we'll go down straight like that. So now this is a four space. We can fit a house right in here if we need to. Now, the chances are, if we try to bring these houses over, this is going to be off any damn way, so I probably have wasted a little time, but, ah, whatever. We now have five laborers. That means I'm going to take this up to max out our hunters. And very shortly, we're going to be coming up here 
to set up our second camp. Although, I think... I'm going to take this up to... Uh, oh, not 250. Let's pause. I, I pause a lot. I don't know if you guys do that. It's just the way that I play because I don't want to make errors. I'm going to take this to 200 now. We have enough houses that I feel we need to have that kind of that gap. We're still great. Look at that. We're, we're in abundance of tools. We're not running low on tools. A non-issue. Complete non-issue. And then also, they've removed this, so you know what? Let's check that bridge. I bet you we can build it now. Look at there. Boom. Piece of cake. So, if you're doing that, if you build a road right to the edge, and you're trying to build a bridge, and you notice, oh, I can't get a bridge to work, knock your road back one or two, splace, uh, one or two places, or spaces, or splaces, whatever. Knock it back, then build the bridge, then put your road back. Boom. Good to go. What's that phrase? Boom. Bob's your uncle. So now we don't have any road. I can put it right back. And I'm going to put just one piece right there. And this is going to be one of those camps, actually, where I'm going to be plant only for quite a while. Or, well, for at least for those five seasons. But this opens up this entire area. Again, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's drag the road right across. No reason not to. And then we can actually, as soon as that's done, we can get in here and start uh, harvesting more resources. If need be, because I want to get this camp going soon. I want another forester. That's my main thing. And he is here. You know what? We've got enough people. Let's go ahead. Let's get the forester going. Once we have a circulating supply or, you know, replenishable supply of, of trees and such, I'm just going to feel a little bit better. I don't have to worry about firewood. I don't have to worry about building buildings. That argument of, oh, hey, uh, stone houses take less to heat and they do and they also look kind of cool i like the wooden house i like them both but if we have replenishable firewood then the problem of heating them doesn't exist so i'm not freaking worried about it we've got plenty of iron we could use a little more stone let's get them in here well actually let's wait for them to build this we'll assign a couple of foresters and we'll see what we've got how many do we have going over here three so i want to have six so we're gonna have three more yeah and then we're going to build a house shortly, I have a feeling. So let's get a total of six of these guys. So that's three in each location. He's set to cut and plant. This is filling in nicely, you can see. You know what, guys? We're rolling along. We're rolling along. I am... What do we need for school? Just lots of logs. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to come in here because I'm going to have him set to plant only for a while anyway. Let's come in here. Let's take a good chunk of these trees out. So we can go ahead and let's build this school. Get that going. Actually, let's pause that until they actually get these cleared. And then let's also look at... Alright, we have a female ready to go. We have a couple of them. Got a male almost ready. This guy is... Alright, so we need another house now, too. Let's build for that Forcer's Lodge. Let's unpause this house. Get them going. Look at them. They're going to town. They are tearing it down. They move so quick along those roads. They move even faster on the stone roads. I don't think we'll get quite that far in this game. But that's not quite our goal anyway. But yeah, I love I love how they move so quickly. And we are about to reach our cap of food. So you know what? I'm going to make this 7,000. Yeah. Um, I mean, not that 5,000 is not a bad cap, but I want to have a little bit more of a, of, a, of a gap there. So this is already going up. Yeah, look at that. That was easy. And we've got plenty of logs now to go ahead and build the school. And, all right, so we've already got a couple people living there. Do we have more people ready to go? Yes, we do. So let's build, should I build up here or down here? That's the question now, because what do I want to do next? The hunting cabin? Oh, the herbalist. You know what? Yeah, let's build another one right here. As soon as the school is done being built, we're going to build this house, and then we're going to get the herbalist going. And I think that will take us out of this episode because we need people. We need one teacher, but we're gonna and only one herbalist too. I generally think, uh, in my opinion, you could use more than one if you if you want it. That's certainly not an issue. It's not a problem. But in most cases, especially with something like this, I don't think we're going to need more than one herbalist. So let's go ahead, get the herbalist going, and as soon as that is built, we will build this house, or we can just do both at the same time. Sure, why the hell not? So house, house. School. Got the Forester's Lodge happening. We've got resources to clear over here. We're going to build our second camp. We'll lay that out. Blah, blah, blah. How are we doing for production? 143 logs. That's not bad. If you can get 150 to 200 per station, you're doing pretty well. You're doing pretty well. Especially because we're holding steady at 200 for our cap. No issues. 
Same with our tools. 20 tools is good. We've got a ton of iron. Decent amount of stone. Dare I say, this is working fairly well. I don't want to jinx it, because you know what's going to happen? A tornado is going to come rip-roaring right through our town and kill everybody. Isn't that always the way? So hopefully that doesn't happen before we hit our 20-year mark. And we're on our way to getting, to getting the populace that we need. So 35, we're only 15 people away from what we need. And we have all of this yet to, uh, to uncork. So we're doing okay. We're doing okay. So we've got one teacher. Build this house already, will you? Oh, they're building this first. And that's fine. So we're going to have one herbalist. The cap of 100 to me seems to be fine. And we've got this going on. Wonderful. Oh, as you probably have noticed, the other thing I did and I forgot to mention is that I did turn the weather effects off. And that is simply because I find it to be a little tough to view uh, in YouTube videos. And I didn't want you guys to have to strain to see what I was doing, so I've, I've turned those off. So that's why you're not seeing rain and snow happen. You know, there's no flakes and flashes of lightning and stuff. So, bam, we've got an herbalist. That's pretty good. Now, some of you might point out, and rightfully so, that, oh, you've got a forester's lodge right next to an herbalist, and he's going to eat up the old growth, and the herbalist isn't going to be able to find it. That is true. He His production will be less. Will it be a hindrance? No. Uh, I've run this before. Like I said, I've been tinkering at work with it on a completely different map, and I, on that map, have an herbalist right next to a forester's lodge. The production is lower, but I'm easily hitting my cap of 100, and even if I'm not, I'm still hovering to 50 to 60, uh, and it's keeping people healthy, so I'm not going to freak. Worst case, and that's only with one herbalist, so worst case scenario, I add a second one, I guarantee you we will hit that 100 cap, everybody will be happy, and we're good to go. I may even put in a hospital. Something to think about. Something to think about for next episode. I'll tell you what, leave me a, a comment in the section below. What the hell do you think about a hospital, guys? In the meantime, do me a favor. Go ahead and click the like button if you like this video. Leave me a comment if you have something to say about it. Don't forget to hit up the City Builder Collective. The description, the link to which is in the... One of these days I'm going to get that right. The link to which is in the description below. In the meantime, thanks so much for dropping by. And we're going to see you next time for another episode of Banished the Mountain Men Challenge.